Whew. Okay, I'm going to make a kind of an update to uh, uh, Manuel Johnson. His um, He's the guy that said that he, God took him into the future. And uh, he spoke with somebody and someone told him that it was the year 2022 and uh, Donald Trump was back in office. Uh, I'm going to play the thing for you at the end. That plus the summarized version. So I'm going to play both together. The actual clip and the summarized version. Uh, but the two point, the, the, well, the, the three main things that he gets across in the video is that one, it wasn't a dream or a vision that God actually physically took him into the future. Um, and two, it was the year 2022 this year. And last, that Donald Trump was still president. Okay. So, uh, man, I just can't believe anybody would still, I mean, the only people that are following him are people that are, are uh, you know, the same people out there that are like, well, it's still 2022. Really, there's 39 days left. I mean, you take a look at my first video. Well, the f first part I've done on this one. This is part two. You know, um, take a look at that one. That was, um, what, about three months, beginning of October. So we had like three months. Um, now it's like almost a month, like 39 days. That's like, I mean, uh, another eight days and it'll be December. Like, I mean, I, and you know what the thing is, is that we, it could go all the way down to, let's say, you know, six o'clock in the morning on December 31st. And they're still going to say, oh, we have one more day left. He, and, and they would actually believe that, you know, Trump will get back in office on that one day. Like, really? <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing, you know. But, uh, uh, I mean, I, I'm going to make, after this video, I mean, I got almost 500 views on the other video, which is not bad for, well, for me. I mean, for other people, it's like nothing. They get 500 views in, like, two seconds. Like, But for me, 500 views is like, wow. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank everyone who viewed uh, that video. Um, I only hope I can get as much views on this video. Uh, then... And when the New Year's comes, I'm going to make one final video of it. Uh, and that'll be it. Then I'm just done with it. Because, you know, this video is more for people who are on the fence, who don't know what to think. And I'm just trying to expose the hypocrisy here. You know, um, I mean, it just, uh, you know, here this guy, you know, he's like, God told him, you know, or God gave him, sent him into the future. And that when he was there, it was the year 2022, and Trump was still president. And it's like, come on. So, so now he's like, well, you know, he's trying to make excuses. And other people are making excuses. Well, they're trying to lead. Because they know it's not going to happen. They know in the next 39 days, Trump is not going to get back in office. They know it. Okay? Everybody knows. Anyone with a rational mind that can think knows he's not going to get injured. First of all, okay, there's no, okay, you got different types of laws, okay, okay, but there's only three main sense. There's constitutional law, which is just the Constitution. There's federal law, and there's state law, okay? There's nothing in, state law wouldn't have anything to do, but there's nothing in any federal, state, or constitutional, or in the Constitution itself, that would, you know, allow Trump to even come back in. There's no process. There's nothing in there. You know, once a president is sworn in for those four years, the, the only thing that would have to happen would be like a civil war. And basically, if if you're uh, advocating that if you want Trump to get reinstated or back in office, what you're really saying is you want there to be a civil war. And then they would have to fight the civil war and, and win it. I can get Trump back in office within 39 days. It, come on. You know. Well, and uh, first of all, why would anybody want a civil war? Okay. Like, I mean, short of a civil war, there's no way he's going to get back in. Okay. And um, 
I don't even that there's not even I don't even think there's gonna be a civil war like uh, this year. I mean, who knows? Maybe I guess it could go either way, but not. I don't think there's gonna be one this year. I mean, who knows? Maybe you never know, but you know, uh, I I don't think the Christians are gonna want to have a civil war around holy days like Christmas and all that. Yeah, they're not. You know, if anything, they'll wait until after the holidays, <laughs> then have the war. <laughs> It's crazy though, but uh, yeah. I mean, there, there's no, there's no, nothing. There's no legal statute anywhere or anything in the Constitution, you know, that could bring Donald Trump back in office. It, it it's not. That's not how it works, you know. And uh, so basically, you know, all these people, right? And they're mostly Christians. You know, they say, "Oh, we want law and order, law and order." Well, then why are you arguing? Because if you say you want Trump reinstated, you're arguing against law and order. Because there is no law or nothing in the Constitution that can get Trump back into office. You know? I mean, so people who were want Trump to get back in office before the 2024, obviously, um, well, those are people who are against the Constitution, I mean, but they don't, they don't even know, they, they, they claim, oh, we want the Constitution, but they haven't never even read the Constitution, don't know what's in there, don't know anything about federal law, don't know nothing about nothing. So, it's like, these people, they're, they're just, uh, now I want to talk about, uh, excuse, I mean, uh, the excuses that, uh, now, and, um, like in the most recent video he just made, uh, he he's probably he's probably going to talk about something like uh, well he's well he's talking about um, well he was saying along the lines of um, he he had a dream a deep dream and he said he doesn't know if it's conditional or what or whatever like like I mean there are two ways he he can wiggle out of it because. At the end of this year, let, let's just get this one thing straight, all right? When the clock strikes midnight on New Year's, okay, Manuel Johnson is not, he's not going to come out and say it was wrong, okay? And all the people who made any comments saying, you know, because, you know, sure, if Trump gets back in office, of course, I'm going to say I was wrong, okay? So... If you watch the whole video, you don't even have to ask. I'm saying it right here. If Trump gets back in office, I will repent, do whatever, and, you know, God have mercy. And I will say, you know, I was wrong. I was wrong. Was, that's it. It was sinful, that, whatever. Okay? But it's not going to happen. Okay? It's not. Okay? Now, when I've asked other people who made comments on uh, the previous video... Uh, they said, oh, yeah, yeah, if, if uh, Trump is not back in office, I, I'll say it was wrong. I, I, I can do that. Yeah. No, the thing is, they're lying. Right? All you people who have commented on my previous video and said that you would, you actually would admit that you were wrong, you stop lying. Because if Trump is not back in office by the end of this year, you're not going to admit you was wrong. Okay. Only honest people do that. Like, I mean, look, you're, you're not going to do it. Because let's say Manuel when Johns comes down and says, oh, that uh, when he was ushered into a future, oh, that was, he was supposed to take that literally and not, or he was supposed to take that symbolically. Even though it actually happened, he was supposed, the message was symbolically and not literally. Well, uh, what are you guys going to do then? Oh, then you're going to say, oh, see, see, it was a symbolic message, not a literal message. Like, come on. I mean, so you're not going to admit that you was wrong. You just take whatever excuse he says, and that's what you'll go with. You know? Now, I would be shocked if anyone went on there and said, you know, come have stroke of midnight. Come say, yeah, you know what? I was wrong. Manuel Johnson was wrong. It's over. You know? We need to stop listening to these people. You know? The other excuse is what they're doing is that he, he's doing another excuse, which is similar to uh, what this guy, um, 
the final stand with Pastor John. Um, he was saying for the longest time Trump will get back in. And he even said he'll shut down his ministry if Trump is not back in by the end of uh, this year, the 2023. So I called him out on it. And he started making videos saying, oh, see, it's conditional. See, God will do it, but America has to repent first. See, if America doesn't repent, then he's not going to bring Trump back in. And he's like, oh, okay, so if you're saying something is conditional, okay, you're saying it might happen, but it may not happen. Well, if something may or may not happen, that's not a prediction at all. Because, you know, what, what you, he's saying that, it's a condition as a safeguard. So that way, if, if he says, if he says A, B, and C is going to happen and it happens, he can say, oh, see, that was God. But if it doesn't happen, oh, see, it was conditional. See, America was supposed to repent first. So if it happens, he can say it was from God. If it doesn't happen, he can say it, it was still from God because it was conditional. So uh, that's, an, that's what uh, this Pastor Johnson guy did. And um, you're starting to see the same elements with Manuel Johnson, with him saying, you know, he said the dream he has, he doesn't know if it was conditional or not, but just have the saints pray. Really? So, I mean, yeah. So he might use that line saying that, um, uh, well, he was going to bring Trump back in, but it was conditional America. You know, something had to happen for America had to repent or whatever. You know, so, I mean, so, but anyway, my point is, is that if Trump does not get back in office, okay, see, it, it, if Trump does get back in office, everyone who didn't believe is going to believe him or, or say we're wrong. But if he doesn't get back in office, okay, people like Manuel Johnson are not going to apologize and say they were wrong because they're making way too much money. I mean, he got motorcycles and going to Jamaica and eating fish tacos. I mean, he's living a luxurious life. I mean, you know, so he's not gonna he's not gonna give up the gravy train, you know. So you know, he, what he'll do is he he won't apologize or say he's wrong, and neither will anyone else who comment on my channel, even though they claim they will say they're wrong. I, I doubt if that will happen, but you know. Manuel Johnson, he'll just make an excuse as to why he'll find some excuse to explain it away to what, where he's right or, you know, all that. But, yeah, anyway, like I said, uh, I'm going to play what he played, and that'll be the end of the video so you can see for yourself what he said. And, you know, and then, uh, yeah, it's just, it, this guy, he's a fraud. He's either a fraud or he's insane or something, I don't know, but. He's not, uh, he's not no some prophet, you know, no, come on, especially when, you know, it, 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 these so-called prophecies that he claimed he gotten right, they're so, so vague, I mean, you know, I just don't see, I mean, I can see how people who aren't that educated would follow him, or people would brainwash, but that's, you know. So I, I was going to say I don't see how anyone can follow him, but I guess I can see how people would follow him. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. And I'm going to make one final video after this one, and um, yeah, which will come up next year. And I'm going to wait, see what happens. You know, what's, what's going to happen? You know, what does he say that vision was you know, with Trump? I mean, what happened, you know? See what's his excuse going to be, um, and then we'll go from there. So uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll make one more video later, and hopefully you guys can watch that. So, well, until then, uh, take care. I didn't ask for this, nor did I plan it. It was God's perfect will to allow me to usher me into the future. That's right. He has ushered me into the future and I took notes, I wrote it down and the things I saw, I wanna explain it to you saints. I mean, God is a good God. He, uh, this happened around six, seven weeks ago. Very powerful. Where the Lord had ushered me into the future 
and I went through some kind of portal, some kind of portal, and it was a real deal. And I knew I was in Southern California, which I live in California. So apparently God used California. And as I went into, went into this, uh, went through this portal, and I, I, I'm watching and I see a lot of movements. It was a beautiful day, a lot of movements. Nobody was wearing a mask. Glory to God. It was a thing of the past. The mask, the virus is going bye-bye. And I didn't know what year it was. So I saw a gentleman pass by me. And as he was passing by me, I had asked him. I said, sir, what year is this? And he looked at me crazy. He thought I looked like he, I, th I think he thought I was drunk. And I said, sir, please tell me where, what year is this? And he looked at me and he says, where have you been? I said, please tell me what year is this? He goes, man, it's 2022. Don't you know? It's 2022. And I go, wow. And then he started to walk away. And I asked him again. I know I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to do this. I said, sir, who is the president? Who is the president? And he said, don't you know? I said, I don't. Please tell me, who is the president? And he told me, he said, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is our president. And saints, get ready. I don't care how it looks now. Donald Trump is our next president. He will. I said, please tell me, what year is this? He goes, man, it's 2022. Don't you know? It's 2022. Please tell me, who is the president? And he told me, he said, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is our president.